Now to President Biden expressing outrage about the Israeli attack that killed seven humanitarian aid workers in Gaza, criticizing Israel for not doing enough to protect aid workers and civilians. Our foreign correspondent, Britt Clinton is on the scene for us there in Israel. Good morning to you, Britt. Good morning, Robin. Yeah, Biden's saying Israel is not doing enough to protect aid workers and civilians in Gaza amid a global outcry over that deadly attack that killed seven aid workers, including a dual U.S. citizen. This morning, growing outrage after Israeli forces killed seven humanitarian aid workers in Gaza. In a strongly worded statement, President Biden calling their deaths a tragedy, saying... Israel has also not done enough to protect civilians. The president upping the pressure on Israel, saying he will press the country to do more to facilitate aid. This after clearly marked vehicles from the World Central Kitchen, an NGO providing meals to Gazans, were hit by three Israeli airstrikes after unloading food supplies to this warehouse. And now we're learning more about those killed. Jacob Flickinger, a dual U.S. Canadian citizen, as well as three British nationals, another from Poland, an Australian and a Palestinian. The White House saying it's outraged, but National Security Council spokesperson John Kirby defending U.S. policy surrounding military aid to the Israelis. We're still going to make sure that they can defend themselves. That doesn't mean that it's a free pass, that we look the other way when something like this happens. In the immediate aftermath, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu calling this incident a tragic case and initially saying, quote, it happens in war. His office later releasing a follow-up statement using softer language, saying Israel deeply regrets the tragic incident and that the IDF is conducting a swift and transparent investigation and we will make our findings public. At least two aid groups have suspended their operations in the wake of this attack. The UN now says 200 aid workers have been killed since the start of the war, saying wars have rules that need to be respected. George. Okay, Britt, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.